the monument of our Lord Jesus Christ work on earth at the cross and the resurrection is going to be you and me. All of those that know Christ, the body of Christ, we are his workmanship. When the universe looks upon his glorified church, they will marvel at his beauty. They're not going to think of you and me, they're going to think of him. All of our thoughts are going to be centered in him. The universe will be impressed not by us, but by him who could accomplish all this. Christ will be the center of heaven. And in hell, wherever you look, you'll never see him. This is the day which the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it, the scripture says. There's going to be a day when Christ comes back. Now today, when he's coming is a secret. According to a recent New York Times article, last year the United States government created 6,800,000 classified messages and documents. Now that's a lot of secrets. And of course we all know that those secrets have leaks. But God has one secret that he's revealed to no one. No one, and we're not even to speculate about it. And that is the day and the hour of his return. We don't know. But Jesus, before his death, took his disciples to the mountain and they privately asked him, Lord, when are you coming and what are going to be the signs of your return? What can we look for just before you come back? What will be the indicators of your coming again and the end of the world or the world system as we know it, which is dominated by evil? And Jesus replied, Not of that day, nor hour, knoweth no man, not even the angels know, only my Father knows. But he stated clearly to the disciples at the time of his coming again, there would be signs that we're to look for. And what are some of the signs that he left? First, he said there will be wars and rumors of wars. Doesn't that sound like the headlines of our papers all the time? Wars and rumors of war. Oh yes, we've had a, a wonderful time of peace seemingly break out in the world. And I'm thrilled at what's been happening. But even with all of this peace that's broken out, that doesn't mean that it's not a dangerous world. The Economist in London the other day ran an editorial and said the world is still a dangerous place. The end of the Cold War and the new relaxation between East and West have tempted some to believe that peace is the order of the day. The Economist said it is not. We get rid of one big source of tension, the world st still has a lot of little ones. Neither hatred, intolerance, nor aggression, nor even the clash of ideas died in the changes that took place last year and this year. Peace is breaking out, but so is conflict. And then the second thing he said, many will come in my name saying I'm Christ. I'm told that there are more than 400 people in Los Angeles alone that claim to be Christ. He said there will arise false Christs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders. And many people today are teaching that we are God. All you have to do is to get in touch with the power that's within yourself. Unleash it and you can solve all the problems of life. And then thirdly, Jesus said there will, the masses will be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and the cares of this life. And so that day will come upon myriads of people unawares. In other words, we're going to be having such a good time and be in all of our parties and going to all the nightclubs and all the excessive drinking.